Welcome guys, this is Luis de la Cruz from DLC Customs and welcome to the shop. Right behind me is my CNC machine that I've been working on for the last couple of months. Uh, I'll be making a further, more in-depth video on this machine once it's completed so that I could do an overview and list everything that I've done to it. All CNC'd by me, designed by another fellow student and everything else will come about in the next video. However, this video I like to talk about the open builds black box controller the most simple the st most straightforward controller that you could find on the market today uh, I really wanted it just because it was simple I knew it was gonna be easy to hook up and it definitely has been once you dive into more and more in-depth videos and try to get more information out of it there isn't a lot of videos on them so I'm gonna do my best to elaborate more on them so that anyone can Get this information and go on about it to hook up their own machines and get theirs going so uh i want to start off with thanking open builds themselves they've been having the most tremendous uh, customer service that i've had in a while so i mean congrats to them i mean it's been tremendous i'm having uh a little it's not difficulty but it's a little bit of problem solving once you get it and then try to hook it up however uh what my friend has one so uh i have the opportunity to get information from him instead of trying to go in without you know just blindly however i want to get some videos online just because i didn't really see a lot of open builds black box videos on youtube so uh hopefully you could get something of this and uh, I'm a designer, product designer and manufacturer, so just subscribe and maybe you could like something else that I'll be posting in the near future. So thank you very much. Enjoy the next segment. Thank you. Alrighty then, so let's get into this. would be shipping information all right so yes my information shipping information label and in here we have an already pre-assembled black box look at that all right so I would like to go ahead and discuss something following this uh, I did not expect this to be returned or to be shipped to me uh, assembled. This is far beyond the level of customer service that I was expecting. I mean, it's been overall just amazing. Alrighty then, clean this off a little bit and get this open. Now. I'm not sure if they are gonna start assembling them and shipping them off assembled. Again, this is a replacement for the for the first one that I received. I mean, like I said, I'm gonna probably say it again another 10 times, the customer service that I've been receiving with them has been absolutely tremendous. And I just can't speak enough about it. Alrighty then. I'm gonna scratch this up now. Tremendous. This in and of itself sealed and taped. Alright. Sorry, but I'm ecstatic to open this up. Alright. Beautiful.
tremendous. All right, so I was expecting a whole other unit with connectors and everything, but this is exactly what I needed. Uh, the first piece that I had, which is right here, Currently, I had the top unscrewed just so that I could get a better look at the inside of it. Since I did mention that the serial port was not being read. So, I mean, I'm very lenient. I'm very patient, especially with the project that I'm working on. So, um, it didn't. Def it hasn't. It didn't make me look down on the company itself. However. It was a very unfortunate event. So the old one, the new one, again, both the same machine, the same controller from what I've seen, from what I'm seeing. So an overview for the individuals that don't know, uh, the system is really all you need along with a 24 volt power supply. So I ordered an eBay kit and this is the one that came with it. And instead of going with all the wiring and troubleshooting of uh, assembling a Mach 3 controller with uh, the individual drivers and everything. I went along with this just to get a more rapid system going so that I could just get the machine running before uh, I inevitably want to go into a Mach 3 software specifically so that I could utilize two offsets and everything else that Mach 3 offers. And I mean, I'm a machinist by trade. So I'm way more familiar with G-code and utilizing the offsets and everything else that come along with it and fixture offsets and tool offsets specifically. Um, so uh, just an overview. Uh, this is all the type of board that like circuit boards are made out of, I believe. Uh, everything else is in, everything is intact in here. The system itself can be opened up to expose everything that these wires are not connected uh, as of right now uh, this goes right here I believe so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna open that or not connect that right now as I'm not 100% sure I have to read the I have to ship this back regardless so I'm not gonna connect it uh, there's a specific, uh, there's a specific color code for the ground for the for the fan. Either way, I'm going off topic right here for the fan. So basically, it's super simple to use. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay. So this is really interesting. This system is different from this system in regards to the reset. This one is a little bit more recessed within the box itself, as this one is a little bit out. Maybe I installed it incorrectly, or that's just how the button came to me. Regardless, this one is a little bit more recessed, and I like this a little bit better. So, in essence, you can have this system in an open reach, a very accessible box, like a toolbox which is something that i'll be looking into to use to house both of these since it's not going to be crazy in wiring since all your motors your limit switches connect directly onto one side and then the other side if you flip this over you simply get your power supply and hook it up and that's basically it unless you use the option for a relay uh, or a door switch in order to utilize uh, different systems in on your machine itself so I mean it's all housed very nicely very compactly I can't give an actual size estimate to how big it is however I mean I can't I don't have anything to measure with it's very it, it, it's pretty small honestly uh, a lot smaller than I was expecting and I have a friend of mine that is utilizing one as well. And his is actually running right now. And I mean, it, it's been working great. Uh, the system utilizes a serial port. Uh, that's the one issue that I had on the first one that they sent me this one for. 
the serial port wasn't reading or transferring the drivers from the board itself so I that's the main issue that I was having everything else was perfectly fine so the system itself just powers on from a switch uh, a small light comes on the fan starts going on and then once it's connected to the computer uh, you will be able to utilize your machine so it will read your motors your limit switches and then you could home from there the system itself the uh, control the control software I'll be doing a video on as well just to have an overview coming from a Mach 3 and a Haas uh, background myself so uh, it's very limited but it's very simple which is one reason I like it and then kind of don't like it but either way I hope they have more updates on that as well so you could see there's a lot of ventilation all around the case a lot of mounting positions and solutions the ports themselves are very clean once it's all connected and then you could just house them all on the machine itself so the machine the, the controller itself is I mean very 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 sleek very simple and very organized the fuse could be changed you have the auxiliary port and or I'm not sure if that's auxiliary but you have a few other ports that I'm not exactly sure what if, what could be used for uh, I'm pretty sure this is for another fan and this is for sure the power port uh, I was really hoping that this wasn't gonna be assembled to do an assembly video but uh, I mean this is a surprise for me and you guys as well so uh, I'll be making a shorter video on my overall uh, the overall plan that I'll be having it housed in uh, and I'll be showing you it moving and everything else just so that people can have actual content to look to if they're thinking of buying one so thank you guys for watching and I hope you've learned something or taken something away from this short little video so uh, thanks again and Please subscribe and see if you like any of my other content. So thank you very much.